those are the results of the yesterday's test and uh, of course, as you already know green is the one which you have written correctly and uh, red attempted, but wrong right. You can see lots of red uh, patches there and you have that white one not attempted. Okay. So, I have also just collected statistics okay, that green entire class attempted only 16.7 percent of the questions all the class together okay. and red is 37 percent and unattempted white is uh, 46 percent and most of you had 2 CRE courses right and you can see the first few side on your left side you have uh, most of them are filled up either red or uh, green that is okay. But those are the very basic things that means that is the first one or two chapters of Levin's PL book if you have used Levin's PL book. Right? And you can see that line uh, may be second row. Okay? Second row is the one which is maximum uh, answered and also the fifth row, I think that is the fifth row, yeah. Uh, yeah th this one, this one and this one and two of course. Okay? And you know question number one, what is uh, you know chemical reaction engineering? Question number two, many people answered, uh, you know, what is a reactor? But even then, they don't know what is a reactor after taking two courses. You can see, no, some red lines there. Right here, question number two is this. This, this, this. There are still some few people who do not know what is a reactor after taking even two courses. Okay, yeah. And question number nine, maximum. Uh, answered. Can you guess what is that question? It is not types of reactors. Huh? It is homogeneous or heterogeneous. <laughs> Single phase or multi phase that is all. Okay. That is what is the maximum number of people uh, written without any mistakes. It is really funny, you know. That is the only question. Even type of reactors, many people not. Type of reactor, question number is, uh, you know, uh, 6. 6 is not that much. 6, I think, is, this is the 6 one. Still, there are many red lines. So, and also, of course, I corrected when the entire answer is right, not if they write only CSTR. Ideal reactors at this point of time, you should know. How many are there? I say, how many react, uh, ideal reactors? Only three. Yeah. If you do not remember three after two class, two courses, okay, then uh, what kind of knowledge we have? We have to check, you no? Know? Self that introspection, okay. You have to check yourself what is that we have learnt in those two courses, right? And another one which is very popular uh, question was this. Uh, uh, fifth one, uh, this is the one. This one also many greens. Can you guess that question? I know you are happy to forget, but I think you know at least can you remember <coughs> that question where many people would have answered. Just guess. Sorry? Uh -huh. Selectivity and all that is disaster. Many people did not. <laughs> okay, many people did not write. Huh? Ah, that is zero almost. Conversion versus temperature for exothermic endothermic reactions. I think uh, maybe one or two. That is question number. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is methods for the analysis of radiation. And that too, I gave, I accepted if you even if you write only two integral and differential, you know, another five are there. Yeah, half life method is another one. Okay, excessive uh, method, you know, method of excesses that means you take one reactant more, one reactant less, that is another method. Okay, and for reversible reaction, you have to wait for a long time, and that is another method. 
So, there are so many other methods and simply by taking you know the what is that uh, regression analysis that is another method. All that no one know has written, okay. but uh, these two I have taken that is differential integral that is why it is maximum. Okay. And uh, this uh, yeah, here there are some green patches. Okay. Uh, and this is the as I told you this is first one and two chapters of Levin's field, mainly the questions are from there. And uh, the definition of uh, plug flow and mixed flow, mixed flow almost everyone wrote, but I did not uh, because both I was looking for both for both I, I should get the correct answer. Okay. And plug flow that is not your fault of course, that is many 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 teachers fault. The definition of plug flow as axial mixing 0 right? and uh, flat velocity profile that is not the correct definition. The correct definition is something else. And if you know that definition, these things are automatically fulfilled like flat velocity profile and also axial mixing equal to 0, radial mixing equal to how much? Radial mixing very Radial mixing very. Louder. Infinite. Infinite. You have infinite radial mixing, axial mixing equal to 0 and uh, flat velocity profile. So, for all these there is a basic uh, definition and uh, if you know that definition all these things are automatic. Okay. I will ask the question saying that if you if you, you have written that flat velocity profile is plug flow, why it should be plug flow? Why? Why do you why do you, why do you call that one as a plug flow? And if it is radial mixing equal to infinity, so what? Why do you call that as a plug flow? Right? So that is why the definition is not correct. Almost only two students, I think one must be from AC Tech and one must be from Usmani University and both were my students who are teaching there. Okay, they would have told that I think only two people have written that the correct definition. So, I think this is not your fault. I mean this here I do not blame you for this definition because the teacher would have not even known that particular definition and as usual teacher would have simply told that yes, assume flat velocity profile if you have or if you want to have plug flow or actual mixing equal to 0 if you want to have plug flow. But the real definition we will discuss you know sometime later when you come to the reactors. So, that is why I think a really disaster I you know teaching of CRE is not that easy right and also this comes at the end and surprisingly every chemical process starts with a reaction, but we teach at the end, end of all other courses right. You first uh, uh, what is that material and energy balances, then you go for thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, mass transfer all that at the end only reaction engineering comes. By the time you are tired probably you do not remember anything. Okay, in two years itself you are tiring no? nowadays. So, that is why I think probably you would have not concentrated and uh, in the gate also I think uh, not many questions will come correct because in India it is only examinations there is no education in India only examinations throughout the country and all your minds only go for how do you crack the examination? How do you crack the question paper? Okay. Yeah, so, that is the reason why absolutely I do not know whether if I conduct the same uh, similar questions or similar examination in mass transfer or heat transfer what kind of responses I get. Okay. And I appreciate myself because none of you will appreciate me. So, I appreciate myself thinking, <laughs> thinking that I have done a very good job of giving the test when you are not aware of the fact that I am going to conduct the test. The moment you come to know that I am going to test, you will now, you will have a race. That is why I, I like that movie, you know, Three Idiots, okay, where that uh, funny word is given. So, they want to crack that word. So, that is why pull the papers, pull your uh, uh, hair and pull your legs and all that you pull and then finally, there is no answer there. Okay. So, the moment the, you come to know, that is why gentlemen agreement for you also next time you should not inform your juniors that this examination will be conducted. So, last 10 years I have been requesting your seniors and uh, I think they are faithful, most of them may not be telling you about that. 
That is why I never give this question paper. I will only tell the questions. Okay, I will never give you this uh, question paper. Because the moment I have the question paper, you will have a question bank in hostel. <laughs> then again you, uh, okay, anyway this fellow conducts the first examination on the first day, jury examination on the first day. So, now let us crack the examination. Cracking examination will not give me any idea now what I have to concentrate. So, th this definitely tells me that I have to concentrate from 0 onwards. Okay. So, from basics again after two courses and I strongly believe that whatever is left with you in this examination, whatever you could write, whatever is left in your brain only you could write there. So, that is the true knowledge what you have. See the you may you might all of you would have got you know here we have yes 10 out of 10 and in some other universities you may have you know pure marks. So, okay. You would have got 100 out of 100 or 90 out of 100 or 99 out of 100 in CRE, but all those marks are only on your mark sheets, not here. And mark sheet is always in your cupboard. If all that knowledge with that 100 percent marks knowledge, if it is in your brain, then all that should have been beautiful green, correct no? The entire thing should have been beautiful green. <coughs> and it is disaster to just uh, think about non isothermal reactors. That is where the, this red patch is mainly. These are all non isothermal reactors. Like uh, for example, non adiabatic non isothermal. You thought that non adiabatic is different, non isothermal is different because there was a comma. I was asking about only one reactor, what is the name of non isothermal non adiabatic? Okay, we call uh, in short in some books also it is written NENA, non isothermal NI, non adiabatic NA. Okay. So, that is the kind of uh, name we give for one uh, non isothermal reactor, where of course, temperature changes are there and uh, heat also is uh, you are supplying heat or removing heat, not leaking heat and all that. Some people wrote leaking heat and all that. Either you supply or remove heat and naturally the temperature will change. So, uh, adiabatic means you are not supplying anything. So, that is why it is called non adiabatic and also non isothermal because temperature varies depending on what kind of reaction you have inside the reactor from starting to the end. If it is plug flow reactor or if it is uh, mixed flow reactor, will the temperature vary? Huh? Yeah, throughout the reactor it remains the same. That is the beauty in uh, definition of perfect mixing. Okay? So, that is why uh, this uh, every time this reveals me and you do not have to really worry all Indians are brothers and sisters. <laughs> this is the same pattern which I am seeing last 15 years. So, our genes have not changed. So, we are all still Indians no problem. So, after taking two courses that is the result. So, I feel at least by taking this course and then there is another course called uh, catalytic reaction this is chemical reactor theory. If you take both the courses I think that entire field will be green. And what kind of questions I asked? Are they difficult questions? In fact, many times I feel if someone else sees outside, they are all silly questions. Okay. How do you analyze the data? What is a chemical reactor? Okay. And what is the information you get from kinetics? What is the information you get from kinetics? You get only one thing rate of reaction. They write, you, you write rate of reaction plus rate constant plus order of reaction, all these they are already there in rate of reaction. <laughs> then what do you mean by you know order of reaction is a bad concept in your mind, because many reactions do not have order of reaction. Always our imagination is only in terms of LKG, because first time we teach oh first order and then solve all the problems. So, that is recorded in your brain all the time you will never grow beyond that. And if you go to Haugen Watson models, I asked what is the information you get from Haugen Watson model that is one of the questions, not even one wrote the correct one, okay. uh, maybe, maybe one or two people. You get only one rate expression that is all nothing else there. Okay. Rate expression for <coughs> catalytic reactions, where it is a very peculiar rate, because you have in the denominator, uh, uh, yes, in the numerator something. 
Okay. If it is simply A going to R, reversible reaction, just simply A going to R, first order reaction, and then this is taking place on the surface of a catalyst. So, it is a catalytic reaction. Then we have the steps of adsorption, desorption, surface reaction, all those steps. If you take one of the steps as rate controlling, then you get a rate equation called minus R A equal to some constant, I am talking about uh, numerator, some constant into P A minus P R, these are the either C A, C A also you can put, C A minus C R by some equilibrium constant divided by 1 plus K A P A, K R P R, okay, or C R instead of P R. So, that is 1. What is the order of this particular reaction? Can you tell the order of particular reaction? I think I will write that. This is minus R A equal to K. Okay, let me write C A so that you are comfortable with that. Some constant plus one plus K A P sorry C A plus K R C R. If there are some uh, inerts, we can also write that is K I inerts concentration of inerts. That is the one. What is the order of this reaction? You do not have an order for that. It is a rate of reaction, that is all. So, like that, like you know, Monod's kinetics, you know, the in biochemical engineering, right. That question also I asked bioreactor is it different from uh, chemical reactor? Many people wrote, uh, you know, they are different. No, both are exactly same. Both are exactly same, absolutely, there is no difference. It is the same plug flow reactor you, was, you also use there. Same batch reactor you also use there, same mixed flow reactor used there, right? And you also have a minus R A there. What is that minus R A given by these microorganisms called Monod's equation? If it is uh, microorganisms, or if it is enzymes, it is Michaelis Menten equation. What is the order of Michaelis Menten equation? It is a complex form, similar to this only. So, you cannot say that you know this is the order of reaction. That is why that concept of order of reaction is totally wrong for us. You are very lucky if you have a first order reaction. That is one of the very, 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 very special cases. It is not that you know every reaction should have first order. Right? That is why you know very, very basic questions like when I have A plus B going to R, what is the order of this reaction? You cannot say anything about that. It is so innocently looking, you know, even simpler one is simply A going to R, simply A going to R. What is that order of that reaction? We do not know. It can, it can be as complicated as this or if you are very lucky, then it is only first order reaction provided there is a clause there. If it is elementary reaction. And how do you know it is elementary or non-elementary reaction? By looking at that, it will never, it will never tell you, okay, I am elementary reaction, you take first order. Same thing, are you telling me when I am looking, I am so and so, are you telling me? You do not tell. Okay? So, similarly, there also, reactions also will not tell. So, it is our duty to find out. It is my duty to ask you, okay, what is your name? So, I cannot assume that because in uh, because you, you have come to Tamil Nadu and then uh, in Tamil Nadu most of the time you, you will have either Subramaniam, Subramanians or Srinivasans. Okay? So, then I cannot simply say that okay, ah, Srinivasan come here. Okay? Or if you I think in uh, particularly Korea it is beautiful, 90 percent of the people are Kims, K A M. Okay? <laughs> you can call Kim means 100 people will look at you on the road. Which Kim we do not know. Okay. So, like that I think we also have you know this kind of uh, names particular to some regions. So, because you are going on Mount Road here, there is a place called Mount Road in Madras. Okay. You are generally walking, you say Srinivasan means 100 people will look at you. There are 100 Srinivasans there. So, we have to find out which Srinivasan you are finding out. So, similarly, any rate, any stoichiometric equation 
you should find out what is the order of reaction without having in your mind that this is first order, this is second order. Okay? So, that is why it is really, really, I mean, uh, I do not blame you, but I think, uh, I do not know uh, this knowledge, we require a lot for CRE. So, that is why I have to now start from, from the scratch and then with a clean uh, uh, slot, uh, you know, slate, okay, everything is arranged. Now, I think all your uh, hard disk should be completely cleaned and now you have to have fresh. But student does every time, every semester he cleans his hard disk. <laughs> so, that you know next semester he is fresh, that is what is would have happened here. So, where is the memory? Memory is totally gone because you are erasing, because you want to be fresh in the next semester. So, whatever CRE 1 you taught, uh, you know, you, uh, you have taken last semester, you come with a very fresh face as if CRE 2 is the fresh again. No connection between these two, either mass transfer 1, mass transfer 2. Okay? So, that is what would have happened here. Right? And that concepts, that comes, last question, huh? all reds and unat uh, unattempted. What is a concept? Oh, yeah, I think it is very difficult to question to answer also. Right? So, that is why at least what are the two concepts you have learnt, that is what I have given the question. Minimum two concepts. Okay? Some people they have written uh, you know ideal reactors. Ideal reactors is not concepts, but the definition of ideal reactor is the concept. For example, plug flow is a beautiful concept. It is a really wonderful concept. I will tell you when we come to that why it is beautiful. Okay? So, that is that means you conceive something in your mind and then try to find out whether your idea is correct or not. That is what, what you do most of the time in research. You see, you see something and then you assume or you, you hypothesize in your mind, oh, this must be happening. Right? And you say that, okay, this is the idea I am conceiving, this must be the concept. Okay? So, you have to now prove that what you imagined in your mind, what you have conceived in your mind and what you have really found out, both are same. How do you find out that either theoretically by solving some equations, by writing equations or experimentally or both? Then only your concept is right, your hypothesis is right, whatever you imagine. That is what is research, that is all. You just look at some problem, no one would have told anything about that problem, no one would have addressed. For example, global warming is one of the problems and some people say there is no global warming, simply the weather changes and some people say no, 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 it is clearly because of global warming, who is right? We have equal number of people, entire planet is divided into two now. Some people say no, some people say yes. How do you find out as one of the researchers? You imagine global warming means this. Everything is in our mind. You imagine that. Okay, global warming means this should happen, this should happen, this should happen. So, theory wise, can I calculate and then show them that this is really happening? Or theory also many people will not believe. That is why Nobel Prizes also if you only produce theory, there is no experimental verification, they never get the Nobel Prizes. There must be, there are many beautiful theories. That is what you know Higgs boson person, he also, he, he does not have a Nobel Prize. Higgs boson recently, they are starting, you know, it is a particle where that gives the shape to the world. Whatever we see, the planets, the solar systems and galaxies, what we see now, at least stars we will see the shape came because of that particle. That is a theory. Theory is that, you know, if you believe uh, Big Bang theory, theory is that at the point of Big Bang, there was no volume for that small volume, um, for that small dot, whatever, whatever is there somewhere in the universe, because of some condition this got exploded. And what was there in that dot was, it is pure energy, it is a wonderful uh, example for E equal to mc square we know how to convert mass into energy, mass into energy. Take coal, burn, you get energy, because I am taking mass. But you do not know how to take this energy and convert into coal, correct no? You do not know. So, that is the reason why at that point of time, all that pure energy that was there, that has exploded 
and now it has to convert to mass. Then we do not know how to convert. So, that is why at that time who believed Big Bang theory. So, they started uh, imagining and this uh, Higgs told that there would have been a particle because at the time of that very big explosion, right? at the time of that explosion there are many, many fundamental particles which have been formed. All those are theoretical particles you know and some of them proved experimentally. There are so many particles what is the leptons and also neutrinos. Huh? Yeah, yeah, bosons and uh, bosons is one of these particles. So, like that there were many, many fundamental particles. So, what he told is one of the particle would have converted or would have interacted with that energy field and then it would have converted to the shape which we are seeing now. That means, the molecules, okay, all the periodic table has been created at that time. You know hydrogen and the next one, next one, next one, next one like that. Okay. So, what is that he has done? He has imagined in his mind how the explosion would have happened, what kind of fundamental particles were there and one of the particles would have given the interaction between this energy field and then one of the particles responsible for the shape which we are seeing. All that is the theory, same thing in chemical engineering, same problem in chemical engineering. Okay. We know how to design uh, distillation columns, right? one of the easiest uh, designs and you the, I mean uh, the, the design of digitization column is so beautiful, I really like it because that is supposed to be a mass transfer equipment, correct no? There is mass exchange that means you are separating uh, two components you know by only purely mass is separated there from uh, higher volatiles, lower volatiles and all that. But you know any time are you using a mass transfer equation there? That is why chemical engineers, I know earlier chemical engineers were really great, wonderful methods they have done. Without even talking about mass transfer equation, there is no diffusion, nothing, no equation at all. What is the procedure? You write the material balance, you will get operating lines and then you go to thermodynamics. What do you get? Huh? Yeah, but what does that finally give you for this procedure? Number of stages. Number of stages. Number of stages. <laughs> it will not give you a number of stages. Equilibrium diagram. Thermodynamics will give you only equilibrium diagram. So, from thermodynamics, simply take the equilibrium diagram. Okay? If you are assuming even enthalpy, you are not going. It is the simplest case. Okay? And then from energy balance, or from material balance, you will get the operating lines. Correct? No? Then in between, you write chick, 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 number of chicks. One chick equal to one stage. So, 10 chicks means 10 stages. Now, you go to Murphy fellow <laughs> and then say that okay, Murphy efficiency and if it is 50 percent then you will become I mean you will get 20 plates. Where is mass transfer coming there? That is also bad for you. That means, you do not know what is really happening in the column, but still you could design. If someone asks okay, now explain to me what is distillation. You cannot say that okay, go to thermodynamics and get the equilibrium data and uh, you know go to mass balance and then get operating lines and then draw chick 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 you will get. That is not distillation. Distillation phenomena is totally different. It is a wonderful phenomena. Okay. Why the heavier molecules are moving one direction, why the lighter molecules are moving in one direction, why I, they have to go along the height of the column. By the time you are going to the top you are getting only the pure uh, lighter component and then by the time you come down and then see the bottom plate, of course, the number of plates and all this in our uh, hand only. So, then you will get one of the purest bottom products and how, what is really happening phenomena? Have you ever thought? Your worry at that time was whether this comes in the examination or not and old question papers. Yes, for every old question paper has one distillation column design, okay, mug up and then at least draw 10 times, then you will know 11th time in the examination, you will uh, write something, you will uh, be given some marks and then you get the degree. That is what is happening there. That is why I like the German system where every examination has viva voce examination, every subject. Every subject has viva voce. If I talk to you only, then you will know how much knowledge either I have or you have. Writing examination will not give me any idea whether you have knowledge or not. Olden days, yes. 30, 40 years back, yes. I mean, if you have first class means, definitely you know your 
subject. Okay. But now, even if you have 100 out of 100, you may not know definition of what is CRE. I am not saying all like that, but you know, always statistics means more than 50 percent. Then we will say that uh, many people do not know. Because of the system, because we are not happy in learning something, all our aim is to get a job, not for the happiness of the knowing knowledge. And I tell you, if you have that real knowledge in any field, whatever chosen field you have taken, your happiness, your confidence, totally different. That is why you know most of the God's figures, whatever religion it is, they put a small circle behind his head right? and that head will be glowing, that hollow. Why it comes? It comes only because of the knowledge. If you also have all chemical engineering knowledge, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that beautiful hollow marks behind your head. I say, oh, what a wonderful chemical engineer. <laughs> I can really appreciate when you are walking on the road. Okay, that is the kind of knowledge what we want to have. But I think you know, I am just telling all this in the first class. This is only first class and the next class also maybe it is the attitude change. Because we have done till now without knowing anything just for preparing for examinations. Just preparing for examinations. But now I tell you that there is a happiness in knowing knowledge. And that knowledge there is no shortcut. It is just only through hard work. Okay. And I wish uh, this also should have been like in a movie, another movie. You know, I, I see movies and also I take a lot of examples from the movies. I think how many of you have seen Matrix? That is all. Huh? Why? It is a so beautiful movie. I think unless you will not get grade unless you see that movie and come here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it is available in the hostel also. It is a wonderful movie where I think it is a science fiction movie. Science fiction movies have a lot of innovation, that is why I like them. Innovation means something new. Avatar you have seen at least? Yeah, many people have seen, no? There is one beautiful point, I do not know whether you have uh, observed that particular point. That point is the pigtail of uh, any person on that planet, he will combine with? Yeah. Okay, either you know horse when they are riding or bird they are riding. You know what is the meaning of that? Connection, frequency matching, becoming part of that. Like that, today night you have to go to your room and then put your pigtail into CRE book. <laughs> okay, and I think girls it is easy, for you you have to find something. <laughs> okay, yeah. Then you will become part of CRE, chemical reaction engineering. Then everything, whatever is there in the book, automatically comes to you. That is what is also shown in a different way in a Matrix movie, where I think the hero wants to learn Kung Fu. Right? So then someone says that, okay, load Kung Fu to him, like our CD. How beautiful it is. If that is possible really to load all that subject in your mind, it is wonderful. I should have liked CRE and also I should have liked thermodynamics, okay, load thermodynamics to me now and all the books that are available. Okay. Otherwise, you have to become you know at another robo in that movie, <coughs> Shankar had taken that great movie, it is a really beautiful movie, great innovation again. Okay. Just reading, chick, 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 like this it goes, okay. any page, any line, any word he can tell. How beautiful it could have been if all of us are like that. Wonderful, no? This question is not required. This class is not required, by the way, and I lose my job, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because it is not required simply. Because if I get my job, only if I innovate something new. See, that is the kind of thing. That is what is you know we have to show that interest in the subject. And I told tell you, it is very easy to waste time in uh, any place. And there are sufficient of your friends who are masters of wasting time. Okay, they will simply, even if you want to read in your room, they will just pull your uh, hand and then say that, okay, let us go off and take chai. After chai, we will start. And when you come back after chai, 2 o'clock in the night. You would have got it 2, uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, 2 o'clock you come back. Then what do you learn? 
because your uh, body asks okay sleep now <coughs> because you have a rhythm on this planet night time to sleep day time to work right yeah i mean this day and night came on this planet only to find food whole day and that, that was the original idea i think even now except humans all other species do the same thing only humans do many many bad things okay really correct no we have many monkeys you can see that's why all these points i have mentioned in my welcome speech that day i think none of you would have remembered no okay yeah i told even this you uh, know higgs bosons also all our faculty are higgs bosons so please re, uh, interact with them so that you will get some kind of mass a better mass okay all this i told you on that day also right yeah if you look at our monkeys then uh, what do they do they will always be searching for food so after 6 o'clock you don't see any monkey only monkey see us because we will be people who will be moving all the time throughout but monkeys will be sleeping or just you know on the uh, trees they will be there right any species you take that is what is the idea right so that is why you know what happens is now i know you will very quickly go to that slot what is the slot when i ask you okay where were you yesterday sir throughout night i have worked so day time i have not come here most of you are going to tell the same thing when you are doing your projects most of you which is a very 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 bad habit you are not designed for night working and only watchmen why why, why do you have watchmen we also don't need them because we are wrong people so to protect us i think there is another watchman that's all otherwise which monkey has a watchman which birds have watchman there or watch girl or watchman whatever okay <laughs> yeah yeah i mean which species have police which species have military all are wrong concepts no so that is why if all of us are only searching for food on day time because this lecture will give me the food so that's why i am doing this job so that's why you are searching for the job so that you will get the uh, food and if there are sufficient number of uh, forests sufficient number of trees you know where you get fruits and all that we don't have to job i think actually i am praying for that i think you know when without doing job whatever you want you can happily do if the food is available okay so because i think we are also capable of producing more and more human beings so that is also you know that's why global population is increasing and uh, this is finite uh, space Go globe has a finite space finite area so number of trees are limited number of forests are limited and we are going infinite way our population is increasing that is why this problem of rationing queues queue everywhere any ration shop you have queue again you tell me which monkey has you know this queues to get the food because that is the nearest uh, neighbors you know for us monkeys so that's why always we can tell that so if they want food they will go and search because we spoil them in fact if it is a forest with full of fruits very happy whenever it is hungry it will happily go eat some fruit and then happily sleep and of course that race started because of the reproduction so it will reproduce that's all any species only has to reproduce otherwise it doesn't have life one definition of life is that which is capable of reproducing its own species okay so that is why i request all of you to have that mind to learn not mind to crack the examination i know some of you would have asked about me whether this guy gives more assignments or less assignments i know definitely you would have asked right because for mtech uh, students they, they don't have choice poor guys even if you are told that he gives a lot of work then you don't have a choice you have, it is a core course for you you have to take but ms phd definitely will optimize who is the teacher who gives no assignments and who takes minimum number of classes maybe 10 or 12 in a semester what do you learn if you have that mentality and i have i have many people here who have that mentality in our department and your seniors also will be happily telling this information to you no no don't go to him he will kill you he will give a lot of work to you what is this i think if you have if you want to have knowledge you should do lot of work there is no other way of getting knowledge and what is the 
use of this knowledge, your happiness, I say, not even job. Your happiness, the moment you know that you know something, you understood something, your confidence, your happiness inside, it is the self happiness which is very, very important at the end. And most of us have forgotten about our own happiness, we will only try to satisfy others, mother and father, brothers and for them only, I know. Because even though you do not have any interest in coming to IIT, your mother and father should have pushed you here, literally brought you and then thrown here and gone. There are some people, I mean at least 5 to 10 percent like that, because your interest may be drawing painting or your interest may be playing something, all that is gone. Right? So, that is why my request to all of you is only to find out your interest and also try to learn something, whatever interest you have, whatever subject you like. That is very, very important for all of us. We will be happy, you will be happy, if you learn that. And the, the only one way to learn is work hard. I am not asking you work hard alone, in groups you learn much more. You form some three, four people together. Okay? And I know group copying, but group discussion I have not seen in the hostel. One guy will do the assignment and tomorrow morning you have to submit and throughout night that day that copy will be flying here and there. Okay? Same copy will be moving here and there. Copying, copying, copying. And I think you know by copying, who are you cheating? You are not cheating me. When I give the assignment and I ask you to solve, without solving, copying and if you give the assignment, who are you cheating? That is all, yourself only and self cheating is very bad. Okay? So, that is what happens. I know all of you, even though I tell all this, definitely you are going to do whatever I told not to do. All of you, because you are very busy, somehow you do not know, you, you will not have time to solve the problems when it is given. You will wait till last day, last day anyway you cannot solve, then you can see for who has solved, where you can copy. That is what is going to happen. But if you plan very well, management of time is very, very important for you. Okay? This is after all, you are not studying lifelong, I say. You are only studying, I think once you come to IIT, maximum is only 5, 6 years, if you do PhD. If it is MTech, only 2 years, minimum time required. We do not have any degree less than uh, 2 years. We have a diploma for some other people, special especially for metro and all that, that only recently we started. Other than that minimum time here to be on this campus is two years. So, in this two years, what do you learn? And after two years, you would have not, you know, you may not be even thinking of learning anything. That is why at this point of time, please try to learn as much as possible, interest. And I also tell you, the mentality of the student is, they will try to listen first. And if they are not able to, properly understand, then second day also they try, may not be understanding to them. Then third day they will switch off the brain. They will come to the class, sit down, they will laugh when I put a joke and, but still nothing is going to their minds. So, that is why whenever you have doubt, if you are not able to understand, better immediately to ask doubt and all the teachers will be very happy to clear doubt when or when and you know, then and there you do not have to wait even end of the class. But I know you do not ask the doubts. Why? You think that other people will laugh at you. You think that other people will think that okay, you are now trying to butter me or try to satisfy me, try to be tough, friendly with me, with the teacher, me means. yeah. So, that is what other people think. Let them think, because if you have a genuine doubt, genuine, <coughs> if you do not have genuine understanding, then definitely you have to ask. That is why questions should be put. In fact, we learn a lot because of your questions. Okay? So, that is why these things and another thing also I want to tell you is, even though I think uh, you know technologically we are progressing very well, everyone has a cell phone, everyone has TVs and I think even satellites also may come to everyone later. Even though we are advancing so fast, but still our communication skills have not improved so fast. This SMS is spoiling all our communications, because there is no word, you means only you, you put, R means only single R you put, no full stop, no comma, okay, no words. Then 
if you write some people are writing the same thing in the question paper answer papers also because they don't know i mean they don't know any other language except sms language because before he was born this uh, cell phone was ready with him okay mother and father will be happy to give them cell phones safety wise so those people will use only for this right so that is why communication is very important and one way to learn on this campus is you have to take a oath that you should not speak in your mother tongue as long as you are here mother tongue only for mother all other people you have to talk only in english right now forget about hindi national language and all that because ultimately that is the only language we, where we are communicating if all our medium of instruction is hindi and also when i am talking in hindi then fine i mean that language at least like germany they talk only in german they not english and japan they talk only japanese chinese they talk only chinese but in india only we don't have you know the, that knowledge is still not come all the degrees are in english <coughs> and many people not able to write their uh, you know questions properly and of course thesis is a disaster that's why you have to communicate now i think that's why we are very seriously thinking to have communication courses even for ms phd scholars technical skills and all that i mean technical writing skills communication skills right so we are seriously thinking i think with your batch uh, now i think maybe today tomorrow i will send the circular to all uh, as a dean academic research to all hods to identify who have this less communication skills and then we will arrange a course for them separately maybe two weeks three weeks like that so that is why one way to learn english is that don't talk in your own mother tongue particularly i am telling people from andhra because that fraction is more here and the second largest fraction i think is hindi okay so please don't talk you know you talk only in english then i think you learn something definitely you will learn okay that is very important you are not able to communicate you don't know what to tell uh, if you want to talk to me on some point so that's why that is one thing which you can improve it will definitely improve if you are every day conversing with your friends it will definitely improve many people we have seen in fact 10 15 years back i think uh, this uh, you know that one particular or two particular languages were not there all of them were beautifully communicating in english okay in the hostels but now you go i think a lot of uh, places in uh, hostels when we walk uh, you hear either telugu or hindi <coughs> and occasionally he tamil also because there are some uh, you know few people are there <coughs> but we should listen only in english then only your communication will improve no, please really listen to me when i am taking you know when i am telling all this this is very important for you and you will be a different person if you take all my suggestions you will be a different person by the time you leave another thing is maintain timings one general thumb rule for your self discipline is that uh, there is any class for example 8 o'clock class try to be there at 8 5 you need lot of discipline to do that if there is a meeting where you have to attend okay that meeting let us say 3 o'clock try to be there at 255 it's not that easy uh, you know the way i am telling it is very difficult to do that just determine you know yourself that okay i want to be there 5 minutes before whatever event i am going to attend either class either even movie also try to be 5 minutes before that will tell you whether you are disciplined or not first of all even for mess mess is opened at 6:30 means try to be there at 6:25 you need lot of planning if you want to be there at 6:25 when you have to get up how much time it takes for bath how much time it takes again you know to dress how much time it, it takes again to walk from your room to uh, hostel all that will automatically come planning so that is why that discipline unless you back calculate all that i think it's not possible or the moment you think that okay 15 minutes no problem even if i am late then you don't have any planning absolutely you need not have any planning at all 
So, that is another very important thing. Try to be there just 5 minutes before. Whatever happens, even earthquake comes, you have to jump that uh, you know crack and then you have to come and sit before breakfast. That is the kind of discipline when you have, then automatically you will reach very, very great heights. Believe me, you really, it, I have seen many people who have that kind of discipline, particularly with timing. And those are the really great people I, I have seen. Somehow they would like to come five minutes before whatever they want, even at 60th year or 65th uh, year or 70th year. And that only comes from our self discipline. So, this learning and getting happiness when you are learning, and this self discipline, and also this communications, you know, not speaking in your mother tongue. I think mother tongue is there, I say you already know your mother tongue, I think at least try to learn some other language. And where this is a communicative language, where you cannot escape that, no? if you go for interview, can you escape that? If you are presenting your work before the committee for project or uh, for any problem or you know many courses also have this uh, presentations in the class, you have to take a paper and then present. So, can you escape all this? Can you tell that, okay, I will now tell in my, in my mother tongue? You cannot tell that, it is not allowed. Whatever we say said and done, I think still it is only English <coughs> we are having in the academic institutions. So, that is why to master that one simplest way is only to go for talking in that language all the time. Please try that, I know you will be comfortable in your own language, but even if it is right or wrong, try to speak. It does not matter, I think slowly you will understand. Okay. So, then I think with, the, with the, this is only as I told you mind changing uh, course, attitude changing. So, I hope at least few of you, I do not expect 100 percent of you will listen to me, okay. <coughs> because I think always there is a virus anywhere. <coughs> the only thing I have to see is that virus should not spoil the other people, right. But you know, you, you will not, but at least 50 percent, 60 percent of the people change. Really, I think as a teacher, I have done my great duty there. So, what we try to do in the next class is, as I told you, I have to start from the beginning. What is the beginning? What do you think is beginning in CRE? What is CRE? Well, okay. One step before that I go, I will ask a question, what is chemical engineering? It may be funny to ask you that question now, but it is not really funny when I give that question, what is chemical engineering and that could have been all read. I have started only with what is chemical reaction engineering. If another question was there before that, what is chemical engineering? How many of you can really define what is chemical engineering? I do not know how many of you really remember that. So, we do things like that without knowing what we are, we do things. And suppose you imagine that you know your brother or sister is asking, okay, what is chemical engineering? You will try to give some nice uh, funny answer and then you forget. But it will not hurt you that really that I am not able to explain to him what is chemical engineering. Or even if your brother asks, okay, what is uh, chemical reaction engineering? If you are not able to explain to them properly, will it not hurt you? Definitely it will hurt us. But normally what we do is the moment the question is asked, it will get it definitely will get hurt. But in one second or maybe one uh, fraction of a second, we feel bad and then try to forget ego. That egoism comes and dominates. He asked something, I told something. But really that pain that my God, I could not really understand. I could not really tell that uh, what is the, no, th that poor fellow will uh, believe whatever you say. If you say that chemical engineering means, <coughs> I will sit down and listen in the class, means he will believe. Okay, that is the definition of chemical engineering for you. Okay. <coughs> so, he will listen, but I think he may go, he may be satisfied also, oh my, I will also become a chemical engineer because I can also go and sit in the class and listen to them, that is all. Okay. But it is not that, who is deceiving whom? Are we deceiving him or we, uh, before that we deceived ourselves? <coughs> that is why I think all these things before starting the class very important. That is why tomorrow I will write some 5-6 questions 
and that answers will give you the overall picture of what is that you are doing in chemical engineering. And then reactors will be automatically a part of that. And now we focus on that particular part, like you know Google uh, earth you have. No? So, what do you focus first of all? Google earth. Then if you want to Chennai, zoom and then Chennai or IIT Madras or this classroom also. That is what, what we do. I will just give you overall view of what is chemical engineering, then zoom to finally, CRE, chemical reaction engineering and in that again reactors, because this is mainly, this course is mainly dealing with reactors and basics of uh, chemical reaction engineering. Next course will be real applications, wonderful uh, applications will come, all kinds of reactors. Okay? Shall we stop here? Okay, thank you for listening to me, but please remember, tomorrow I will ask again some of these things, what I told in the last class. Tomorrow we don't have, so that means you know, you cannot clean your hard disk now. And then, okay, now let me clean by evening, tomorrow morning I will be fresh. We have Thursday 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock? Thursday 11 o'clock we will meet again here, then we will start uh, that, what is chemical engineering and all that. Okay? Thank you.